Welcome back to the Jack. We got Gunslinger Suicidal KF KF1 Aperture. Oh, right. You have to wait for this thing to do its jam. That's why I don't play this map. KF1 Aperture was way better because you didn't have to, to wait here. Yo, how do you guys pronounce Wednesday? That's how I pronounce it, obviously. Wednesday. But uh, when I'm writing it, I always pronounce it as Wednesday. Alright, we're gonna be doing this Wednesday, like in my brain, when I'm talking to myself about the words that I'm gonna be saying. It's always Wednesday, you know? Maybe. Can you. If you survive, Just allow me to play the dang game. I wanna play. That's why I don't play this map. It's annoying. It's annoying having to wait. Can I escape somewhere? Can you please? Please? Like, I, I can't open this. I'm mashing E. Oh, ha, ha, let's go. If I just walk up the edge. <laughs> oh, that could have been good, eh? So my, uh, my knife, I ordered a chef's knife. I got a, uh... White paper number two core with a, uh, a reactive Damascus steel cladding. I, uh, I know what those things mean now because I did some research on it. So the, uh, the, right, the, uh, the reactive steel cladding basically means that it is going to be um, like it'll rust. Can I please? Like, what on earth is happening? Why am I horrible all of a sudden? Oh my god. Um, so the reactive Damascus steel cladding means that it is going to be, um, like, very prone to rusting. Um, and uh, it'll develop, like, a patina over time. There's a carbon content in it or whatever. Um, and then the, uh, the white paper number two is, uh, is because they put white paper on it, <laughs> on the actual boxes. And it's like labeled number two, um, but that is there's uh, there's three tiers of the white paper steels, I believe. There's a uh, white paper number one, white paper number two, and white paper number three. Uh, white paper number one has the highest carbon content, retains its edge the like the best, but is also a lot more brittle, um, and it'll obviously rust a lot better or rust a lot worse. You you, you are more prone to rust. Um, and then uh, white paper number two is kind of in the middle. White paper number three has the lowest carbon content. Um, doesn't retain its edge as well. What button do I have for? Doesn't retain its edge as well, and then uh, like doesn't rust as badly either. But there is still carbon content, and it's still a carbon steel. It still rusts. So like, you know, to me, it's kind of like I don't know which, which steel are you using. It either it either rusts or it doesn't rust, right? It's either you take care of it or you don't, right? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this one's good. I can only, you know, clean it every other day. Like, I'm still going to be cleaning it, drying it, putting it away. You know, like, it doesn't matter what uh, what steel it is, really. Um, but the uh, the thing with the, um, the carbon steel, especially with the Damascus steel cladding, is... Uh, that I, uh, I have to make sure that I'm careful when I'm cutting up things that are acidic, like uh, tomatoes or lemons or uh, something like that. Because, um, oh my god, we just got horribly annihilated by a group of stalkers, which we managed to just kind of wedge ourselves in between there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it'll be a little bit more work to take care of the, uh, the the carbon steel knife, but also um, it like it looks really cool. <laughs> so when I when I get it, which should actually be soon because it has shipped today at 12 from uh, from Ohio, coming out to uh, to British Columbia. So it should be uh, should be soon within a few days. It says it's cleared customs, so you know I'm not sure exactly what that means in the the grand scheme of things but um, it means that it's not gonna get held up at the border at the very least I don't know what uh, what else that entails but um, I'm assuming what it means is that they left for a flight 
um, and they got through customs and it's like on a plane on route to uh, to BC right now so it'll probably be in BC later tonight and then maybe tomorrow get delivered I don't really know it might get held up at uh, the Canada side possibly but I doubt it um, but you know assuming uh, nothing goes wrong it should be here soon I don't know exactly when but I'm expecting uh, the earliest would be tomorrow, is my is my guess, and then I'm probably probably looking at uh, sometime this week, probably more realistically. But once I uh, once I get it, I will make sure I take a picture of it and put it in the description. I feel like it's a little bit too loud the music. I'm gonna turn it down just a smidgen. Uh, so once I get once I get it, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna share it with you in the description. I put a lot of stuff in the description. I don't know how much uh, people actually read that stuff, but. Every now and then I'll uh, I'll be excited about something and I'll just share it in the description rather than commentating on it because I mean I don't know. I I leave the descriptions the titles in the descriptions uh, until generally speaking like pretty soon before the video goes live. Um, especially lately since I've been recording them a lot more uh, frequently and uh, like less at a time. I'm actually recording this day a little bit earlier than normal. It's 12 o'clock and. Like it's it, it's a noticeable difference in the in the temperature because we're still. If I take a look at the the temperature here, yeah, we're 14 degrees and going on towards the uh, the later days, but we're still expecting to get to 24, 25 kind of thing, which is that uncomfortably hot for me anyway. But uh, since I'm just recording it earlier, it's just not that hot. I can record; it's fine. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of kind of nice. I'm definitely tomorrow is Monday, so that's gonna be my uh, my recording day for uh, for the following week. Um, and I'm definitely planning. Okay, we're just we're not doing this then. I'm definitely planning on getting up early. Um, I did promise that we would do like the Pokemon themed stuff next week. We're not gonna be doing that next week because I'm planning on. Uh, like logging my hours and I don't want like that's that's some extra work that's gonna be going into it right like a lot of extra work um, that's gonna be going into it but I want to do that but that's for fun so I don't want to like track those hours but then because that's gonna be causing so much more work on so many different fronts um, because I have to like download the maps and then like test them and uh, like find the maps download the maps test them make sure they're like half decent and then I have to make the thumbnails for them, which is like gonna be extra work because I don't have the pictures for them already. Um, and then like maybe the maps have some kind of bug in it, and it like ends up making me have to record it a little bit more. Like it's something I want to do for fun. I don't want it to, to bleed into the um, the logging my hours thing that I'm gonna be doing next week, which is more important to me than the uh, than just doing the, uh, the the Pokemon thing. So I need to know how many hours I'm spending on this. So to pay myself in uh, an imaginary monopoly money, right? I need to know, so we'll be doing that. And then Tuesday will be uh, the day I record probably all of next week's Yam Check tries. I don't want to be putting um, all of the Yam Check tries on the same day necessarily. I would like to be splitting them up a little bit more so that it's more of a shorter. Um, backlog, but if that's not what we get, then that's not what we get, right? And uh, at least for next week, I want to see exactly how much time it takes me to do that so that I can just uh, kind of budget my time for me because that takes a lot of time actually. Because um, I have to, like, the thumbnails are all individually made, and there's actually a decent bit of work that goes into making them and, like, picking out the, the picture for the thumbnail in the background and then, uh, like, getting the logo for the um, the thing at the bottom left of the thumbnail. Like, that actually takes maybe, we'll say, five minutes per video. Which, you know, you might say, okay, well, it's only five minutes, but you have seven videos a week, that's a half an hour right there, right? That's that's uh, definitely not nothing. It's far from nothing, right? So... And I don't even know if five minutes is necessarily going to be accurate because it might be like seven or eight, right? And then that's another 15 minutes or something. 
So it's uh, it's definitely you know it's worth tracking. Right, if I have uh, 40 minutes used on thumbnails and all that on this series, then I have another 40 minutes on another series. You know, this is getting into the hours territory, and I'm like, I definitely want to be allocating myself uh, some time off for this as well, right? Because uh, if I'm ever going to be working on this stuff for, like, actual money, I want to be putting in actual hours and not overworking myself is, is the main thing. But, um... So yeah, we're not going to be doing the Pokemon theme next week. I really, really want to do it, but uh, unfortunately there are just a couple of things that have to be done first, and then I also have to have the motivation to do it that week, which uh, is another thing, because it's something that I want to do. I do want to do it. It sounds fun. It's going to happen. It's just, uh, you know, but that's okay. So yesterday we had the... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. We had the uh, the pest control dude come out yesterday. We don't really have any pests anymore since the last time he came out, but um, we had to come out again yesterday just to, to make sure everything's all good. And uh, it was. Uh, so we went ahead and he sprayed the house. I stayed at my sister's work for a while, and because uh, they were like closed, so she was able to to spend some time there. And uh, we brought our cat, and she works at a uh, like massage clinic. So uh, they have like a lot of blankets and stuff there. And the cat was just having the time of her life getting into all of the blankets. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a, a field day cleaning all of this up later. We can probably tank this. Also, if you just get right up in her face, she can't really hurt you anyway. Yeah, it's the pro strat. You just get right up in her face, and then she can't hurt you. So uh, I left. I left earlier than her, and I'm like, yeah, she's gonna have to spend the next like two hours cleaning up everything here, so that it's uh, it's clean after the cat has contaminated everything, right? Because I mean, you gotta keep it clean. You can make a mess, but you gotta clean it up, right? So, like, I'm not getting paid for it. So, <laughs> see ya. Um, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.